What's up guys, my name is Nikia. So a bunch of people all around the world use WhatsApp as their primary communication app. Especially in Europe, people just don't use iMessage. Some people don't even know what iMessage is. As crazy as that might sound for some people that just iMessage is their primary source, for example, Americans. My mom, for example, she, if I ask her, she probably doesn't even know what iMessage actually is, which is just insanity. So let's go ahead and do a quick throwback to when I first launched my channel. I said this. What's up in the Apple Watch? It's coming and really soon. Uh, a WhatsApp developer I read online he said, I can't really say anything, but I just know it's coming soon. The app right now is on beta. You can't download it, but uh, the developers are testing it. So the Apple Watch app for WhatsApp actually started production. The code name was actually Watch App Bundle Identifier. So WhatsApp has had the app for quite some time now, but it doesn't seem like they will actually release it anytime soon. And here's why. So here's the deal. WhatsApp is owned by Facebook and Facebook is only all about that money. And then Apple Watch app for WhatsApp wouldn't really bring millions and millions of dollars. And sadly, that is Facebook mentality. If it doesn't make money, why would we do it? I honestly just find it ridiculous. WhatsApp is ridiculous. Facebook is ridiculous. Literally, Facebook, think about your users. We've been asking this, Apple Watch users. The Apple Watch is the, the most sold watch in the entire world over Rolex. So there's clearly a demand for the Apple Watch. Even though it doesn't make thousands and thousands and millions and billions of dollars, you should still make the app. Make your users happy. All right, so I wanted to show you an alternative for you to use WhatsApp on the Apple Watch. There's so many Apple Watch apps out there that allow you to do that, but most of them, 90% of them, are completely trash. And then there's 10% that are decent, and inside of that 10%, there's 5% that is actually pretty good. And that's the one that I wanted to show you today. Before I show you the Apple Watch app, let me tell you about Vegan Loops. The Vegan Loop is a leather, a vegan leather Apple Watch band that is 100% vegan, 100% animal cruelty free, that actually feels like leather. Leather can be so cruel to animals, and one of the problems that I had is that I love the way that leather actually looks and feels, but I didn't want to contribute to this very cruel industry. So the Vegan Loop solves exactly that problem. If you guys are interested in the Vegan Loop, hit the link down in the description and use promo code Nikias Molina and you'll get a 20% off. Okay, so this is it right here. Watch out to for WhatsApp, my personal favorite to use WhatsApp on the Apple Watch. This is it right here. Let's go ahead and actually open it. It will ask you to scan a QR code on your Apple Watch. I've already done that. So let me go ahead and show you now what's on the Apple Watch app because it's quite amazing. So as you guys can see, all of my chats are actually here. Let me go ahead and tap on a chat. You'll actually see all of your messages and you can do a couple things. For example, you can. there's actually a keyboard which is pretty interesting. I'm not a really big fan of this keyboard, but it works. Um, it, it works. I'm just not a really big fan of it. I'd rather use what Apple actually lets us, which is dictation. Um, and Scribble. I'm a really big fan of Scribble because I actually write pretty quickly on it and I can just hit send. And you can also send voice messages, which is what I do the most on my Apple Watch. So I can just tap and now it's actually recording a voice memo, which is great. So hello, how are you doing, sister? So I can actually just cancel it right here or I can actually send it. Let's go ahead and actually send that right now. There we go. And now the audio has actually sent. Let me go ahead and Press play. So now if we actually jump over to the iPhone app. So the sound quality, so the sound quality is actually quite amazing. When you long press on the screen, you're gonna get a couple options. One of my personal favorites is the settings because the font size on the watch app is actually super small. You can change the voice volume. You can change the keyboard. So that's pretty much it for watch chat on the Apple Watch. Quite amazing. It's pretty much the same as iMessage, but of course iMessage is actually native. This is not native, but for a third party app, this app is actually not bad. All right, so that's pretty much it. Gonna wrap it up for this WhatsApp filled video. WhatsApp, I hate you. I don't like you. I want everybody to use iMessage because iMessage is so much better. And yeah, hopefully I solved and maybe now you can learn how to use WhatsApp on the Apple Watch. I'm sorry to tell you the news, but I just don't think WhatsApp is coming. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to use the promo code Nikki Smolina at checkout for Vegan Loops, and I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe if you're new. Peace.